Hey guys! So today I am doing a what's on my iPhone 7 video and I mentioned this in my last haul video but this is kind of a Christmas present I guess from my parents. Um, the last phone I had is a Samsung S5 and I also did a what's on my Samsung um, video like way back when when I first started this channel so I will link that down below if I remember to and yeah so that was a couple years ago and it's that phone has just gotten so slow and I just really wanted a new phone and coincidentally my dad actually won two iPhone 7s in China. It's kind of a long story, but basically he got two for free, so he decided to give one to me, and I'm not exactly sure what he's doing with the second one because my brother already has an iPhone as well. So, um, that's kind of why I have a new phone. So it is the black one as you can see. And on the back it just looks like that. And it's really, really, really thin. Um, even thinner, I think, than my phone, uh, my Samsung one. But yeah, um, I did buy a case, but it's coming tomorrow, so that is why there is no case on it. But I also wanted to show you guys. You can see it's kind of like the width of like four of my fingers, I guess. And I have pretty small hands. So this is nice because I can actually reach the end of my phone, whereas with the Samsung, I could barely kind of reach the edge. So, yeah, um, I really like the way the phone feels. Um, this is not my first iPhone, so I am pretty, like, familiar with, um, just, like, functions and things like that, and I also have a MacBook Air, so I'm pretty familiar with Apple products as well, so the transition from Android back to iPhone, or to Apple, I, I should say, was not too hard for me but I could see how it could be a little difficult if you had never kind of used like Apple products before, but I've always really liked Apple products <laughs> and I'm just really glad that I have an iPhone now. So without further ado, I'll show you guys my background. So this is my background. It's the same as my Samsung one, um, although I'm not sure when's the last time you guys saw that one. But, um, this is my background, and this is the background for my second page. It's a picture of, like, skipping stones. I actually took this one in Tahoe. And then my front kind of picture is from the Pittsburgh Zoo. It's just a picture of a flamingo, and you can see the date there. And I'm gonna have to keep, like, pressing on the phone so it doesn't, like, go dark. But um, when you swipe up, there are all these functions such as like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, which I'm going to turn off. Um, I think that's, oh, do not disturb for nighttime. This is like lock screen or not. I usually keep it locked. And then some other things, night shift. Um, there's a flashlight. I, get, I think that's a, oh, oh, that's a timer. That's kind of cool. Um calculator and camera and you can also swipe that way i mean this way for the camera as well so yeah let's go inside the phone i do have a passcode but i have it turned off for um 15 minutes so like if i'm inactive on my phone for 15 minutes or more it will turn back on and when i log back in i have to like use my passcode but this way it's like easier for me when I'm like looking at my phone on and off. I don't have to keep pressing a passcode. So this is my home page and I'm not a really big fan of folders. I only have two folders here because I like seeing all my apps on one kind of face and also um, I feel like with folders it's just extra like tapping time that I don't need. I mean it's like a millisecond but it just seems kind of extraneous like I don't like you have this much room on the face of the phone like I don't really see what the point of like folders is 
but I do know people who are really organized and really like that sort of look, um, like the minimalist look maybe, so that would make sense. Um, but yeah, so I kind of have it organized like in somewhat of a category and also mainly like which ones I use the most. Um, I did want a category, I did kind of think of doing it like in rainbow, like that would have been cool, but honestly it just wasn't as useful that way. And I, as you can see, I have a lot of green and blue apps, not a lot of like other colored apps. So I don't know, I decided to organize it more by um, type and how frequent I use the app, if that makes sense. So we'll go into my first app. And if you guys want to add me on Snapchat, you can. I will go ahead and pull my thing down if you want. That's my username. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. As you can see, it's just my name. Um, I have it on open, so I know some of you have already added me on Snapchat before. But yeah, and obviously there's my desk. But if I turn it up, <laughs> you guys can see me. And yeah, I like this new function with Snapchat where you can press the moon and I think it makes it like a night camera. Um, I'm not sure if I, my Android didn't have that function, so I don't know if it's the new update or if it's just the iPhone. Obviously, if you swipe that way, it's conversations. When you swipe that way, it's other people's stories. For their privacy's sake, I'm not going to show you guys that, but I think most of you guys know how Snapchat works anyways. And then we have Messenger, which is just part of Facebook. And again, I'm not really going to open it because just, I don't know, just in case friends don't want to be seen. And then obviously Facebook. And then I have WhatsApp, and I mainly use WhatsApp to communicate with my volleyball teammates. We don't really use GroupMe. Um, I know that's, I feel like that's a bigger West Coast thing because a lot of my West Coast friends use that. But here on the East Coast, I think people either just use Messenger group or WhatsApp groups. And I find both to be really convenient, so I feel like I wouldn't need to download another app like GroupMe. So, yeah, I like using WhatsApp for the groups and um, sometimes like to chat with people, I'll use WhatsApp as well. It kind of just depends like you know when you have ongoing conversations with people on like different apps like isn't that funny like I'll have a conversation with someone on snapchat messenger and whatsapp and text like it's just kind of ridiculous but yeah and then we have the camera which I haven't like fully explored a lot actually but it is a really nice camera so I don't know like I haven't really done much exploring with like how well the, I mean, I know the camera quality is really good, but I just haven't really done much with that. Um, so yeah, anyways, moving on, I have Instagram, which I will show you guys. That's my home page. You can see my username if you'd like to follow me. This is, I mean, I post really mainly personal stuff. It's not really like editorial shots or anything like that by any means. It's more just like, you know, actually like what my life is about. And yeah, so if you just are curious about kind of more of my personal life, I suppose like following me on Instagram would be a good way to, to see like snapshots of my life, I suppose. So I don't know, just like an example, like this is like Times Square. I mean, not Times Square, I'm, I keep like saying that and I know it's not, it's Grand Central. I don't know why I keep saying Times Square. It's like a shot I took of my friends and um, like this is when I went to Tahoe, it's gorgeous out there. So yeah, that's my Instagram. And then I have Spotify, which I'll go ahead and show you guys my playlist if you guys are interested. Um, I listen to a lot of pop and hip-hop, a lot more hip-hop and rap than pop, but yeah, I kind of have like a pretty wide taste in music, like there's not much that I refuse to listen to. I'll even listen to classical music when I study. I like Tropical House, I'll listen to uh, Pink, Pink Floyd, I'll listen to Ariana Grande, I'll listen to K-pop. I'll listen to Amy Winehouse, so it's a very like wide variety of music, but I'd say the majority of it is hip-hop and pop. Um, but yeah, like recently what I've been loving is the Weekend Starboy album. I love every single song on here pretty much. Oops. <laughs> 
Um, I also really like the, uh, let's see, How to Be a Human Being by Glass Animals. This is a really good um, kind of, uh, it's like indie EDM. That's the only way I can describe it. I also really like um, the Run the Jewels album, Run the Jewels 3. It's really good. Also the um, Chance the Rapper album. That's a little older now. Um, as well as Kid Cudi's album. My favorite song is Baptized in Fire. I listen to that on repeat. It's no joke how much I listen to that song. So that's kind of stuff that I've been listening to recently on Spotify. And that's kind of what my homepage looks like. Stuff like that. You can see some Ariana Grande. That's like a good Tropical House album if you're into that. I would definitely check them out. Joanne, I love her um, Lady Gaga's new album. And yeah, that's kind of like my Spotify situation. And then I have my um, WeChat. I don't really use WeChat except for talking to my family. As you can see, we have like a family group chat and that's pretty much all I use it for. I can show you guys like my moments. I guess that would be a little more interesting. Um, this is just usually you can like post pictures and things like that. Um, this was an ugly Christmas sweater party I went to with my friends and that's like some volleyball photos yeah so mainly what's on instagram is probably on wechat as well and then we have hangouts which i only use to talk to like one of my friends but we talk frequent enough that i have it downloaded anyways then we have maps which actually that i'm not going to open because then you'll see my location and i just want to keep that a little bit private but yeah maps is good for driving directions and looking up a little bit more mysterious obscure obscure restaurants um so that's what i use maps for and then i have city mapper which is a great little app let me just i'll just blur out like my location doesn't really matter um but yeah it will navigate you from wherever you want and it's all um public transportation mm -hmm. that is how you get like that is what you would use city mapper for is if you want biking um walking or um, public transportation uh, directions. City Mapper is a great app for that, and I use that almost exclusively. So, yeah. And then I also have City Bike as well, which again, it's going to show you my location. So, City Bike is just this bike share service in Manhattan, well, in New York, um, New York City, mainly in Manhattan and Brooklyn, where they have like hundreds of docks and if you have a membership, you just scan a key card, grab a bike, bike it anywhere you want, park it, and that's that. So city bike is really convenient for me when I, it's like a, it's like a 20 minute walk and let's say I don't want to walk all 20 minutes, but it's like I don't want to take a cab and it's not really convenient for public transportation. That is exactly when I use city bike and it turns out to be like a five minute bike ride and it's really nice. So I highly recommend getting the city bike subscription if you live in Manhattan and if you haven't already because you don't have to worry about locking your bike because it's a dock and you just kind of dock it and it locks automatically. So I love city bike and yeah, comment down below if you have that too, cause it's amazing. Okay, then I have kind of more of my transportation thing. So I have Lyft, Uber, Via, and Zipcar. Uh, Lyft and Uber, self-explanatory, I'm not gonna go through that. Um, Via is a great car share service here in Manhattan mainly. It's flat rate, which means basically from like I think they go all the way, maybe all the way up to 180th street even or something, like something crazy above 100 at least, all the way down to Chinatown, it's flat rate. So it's really worth it if you're coming from like upper, upper east all the way down to Chinatown, you don't have to pay $30 in an Uber, it's going to be flat rate $7, no joke with Bia. The only thing is, um, usually you will end up picking up people, you can't choose to like ride alone. Um, so sometimes if you get lucky, you might not get anyone on the way, but if you're unlucky, you might get like five or six people on the way. So you have to be kind of flexible with Bia, but I love Bia for like late nights when I'm out um, with friends and then I want to get home and I don't necessarily want to spend $15 on a lift. I'll go ahead with Bia and usually we'll only end up picking up one or two people because it's late at night. 
And then we have Zipcar, which most of you, I'm guessing, have heard of, but it's another car service, but this is one where you drive it yourself. So you basically rent out the car, um, you go to the location to pick up the car using a um, key card that you have, like when you subscribe to it, and you can drive the car, it's like an hourly rate. Um, the only thing is you have to return the car to its original location, so Zipcar is good for like grocery shopping or like moving furniture. They have like tons of different types of car models from sedans all the way up to utility vans. So I really like using Zipcar, that's what we use to move. And when we have like a lot of stuff um, that we need to be flexible with, like we'll use a Zipcar. Then down here I have my NYU bus app, which is just like the shuttle thing where it's like real time and it'll show you where the shuttle is in case I need to take that in the morning. I normally walk, but if it's like really crappy weather out, I'll wake up earlier and try to take the bus instead. Then I have this app called Sleep Cycle, and I really like this. This is a great little app um, where you set your alarm. Let's say like I want to wake up at like 7.30, like I need to be up by 8, okay, let's say I need to be up by 8.30. So you set it to 8.30. As you can see here, it says wake up between 8 and 8.30. And what that does is it monitors your sleep cycle. <clears throat> Sorry and it will wake you up when it is most optimum like when you are naturally more awake that's when it'll wake you up like i don't know if that makes sense if you have learned anything about sleep the sleep cycle that will make sense but um for those of you who haven't it's like when you sleep i don't know if you guys notice this but at, sometimes when you wake up um you feel really refreshed and then sometimes you feel really tired even though you might wake up at 8 a.m every day um and that just has to do with our sleep cycle and the fact that sometimes we are in a lighter mode of sleep and when we wake up then that's when we feel really refreshed because it feels like a natural wake up so that's just kind of what this app does and it'll give you like an analytic report of yours um so i'm gonna try to see if i can sync my data from the android um because it'll show, you, it, it'll show you over time like the best night you've ever slept, the worst night you've ever slept, um, how many hours on average you get, and yada yada. So it's a really cool little app and um, I really like it. Okay, then I have my Bank of America app, which is just the bank that I have, so I'm not going to open that. I have the Amazon app, which is really neat. Um, I buy so much stuff on Amazon because I just... Oh, also these are really good protein bars. Um, yeah, I buy a ton of stuff on Amazon Prime and me and my three roommates share an account. Um, so it's already cheaper for students and this way because we share an account, it's like extra cheap. This is actually the phone case that I ordered, so I'll give you guys like a sneak peek. Um, let's see. It's really, really cute. I really like this phone case a lot, guys. It, um, it's a spec case and it wasn't too expensive. I think it was around like 20 something dollars Which if you have had spec before, you know, that's a very cheap price for a very good product Okay, then down here I have the Kindle um, It's owned by Amazon now. So yeah, this is kind of the book that I've been reading um, My dad recommended it. It's called the startup J curve, but it's all about like entrepreneurship and then I have Visco, which is a photo editing software, or app, not software, um, and it just gives you like really cool, more vintage looking filters, I guess. Um, I don't normally use these ones at the end, I really just use C1 and this F2 a lot, so those are the kind of ones I flex, influx between. You can like choose like the intensity of the filter, probably won't even show up on this screen, but yeah. And then I just have my photo reel. That's kind of an inside joke because I have a friend who looks exactly like Harry Shum Jr. Like he looks exactly like him. So that's why I have that picture there because that's one of our WhatsApp icons. And then we have Venmo, which is just the money exchange service. It's very similar to PayPal. And that's pretty much like the most stuff that I use is on this page. So then getting to the second page, we have the some of the apps that come with the phone. So we have the clock which is just, you know, if you want a timer, if you want to eat an alarm, world clock, but I guess bedtime, I don't know, things like that. 
Then we have notes. I don't think I have any notes, but yeah. So we have notes. I'm just gonna... Then we have the weather. And um, the weather app is nice. And then we have FaceTime, the App Store, iMovie, Calculator, just looks like that. Gmail, Google Chrome, and Drive, those I downloaded separately because um, NYU uses Gmail. So I like having that uh, available on my phone, even though I know like Apple has like their mail system. I really don't like it at all. So I like the Gmail, Chrome, and Drive much better. And then we have the calendar, which is nice. Settings, these are extras. So there's stuff like the compass, um, like contacts, wallet, mail, videos, you know, other things like that. And then I have this folder kind of jokingly titled useless, but it's just things that I definitely don't need, but you can't really just like delete. And then we have T-Mobile Tuesdays, which if you have T-Mobile, I recommend downloading this. They basically just give you free stuff every Tuesday. It's really awesome and I love it. And you can see it tells you like how many days left and it'll usually remind you each Tuesday. So normally I get like $10 off a Lyft ride or $2 Fandango tickets. So it's like really good stuff actually. And then here we have Goodreads, which is a book app and it's what I like the most is where you can scan a book. For example, let's say I'm gonna scan this book. So let's say, okay, I'm gonna put this book right here. And what you do is you scan it. Okay, wait, does it work? Yeah, and then it'll show you right up here. See, the exact title of it, which is awesome. And then it'll show up. And that is the book, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> And you can click it and you can say like want to read and then it'll add to your basically your bookshelf and yeah so it's really convenient i love going to bookstores with this so that way i can like um archive all the books that i see and then i can see if there's like an ebook version available or even like a free version available something like that and then lastly i have the copy my data which i just use to transfer files between my android phone to my iphone so if you're doing that i would suggest this app is really nice to transfer videos and photos and that is it guys besides the bottom we just have phone messages safari and music not much but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little look inside my iphone um let me know if you want me to do any other style video like this. Like, I know some people do the how I edit my Instagram photos, but I don't really do much to my Instagram photos, so that would be a very short video. Sorry for the sirens, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!